Welcome to another Watch and Learn. I'm Kim Sandberg and with me today is Christina Whitney. We're both uh, Handy Quilter Studio Educators and we get to do something today that we normally only get to do once a year, right? We Super are excited. so excited about this. We're having a product launch for a new product that we get to introduce today. So it's Pro Stitcher Lite, which you guys see here on the Moxie. Um, first of all, we want to talk to you just for a few minutes about the Moxie itself. So yes. Christina, let's tell everybody about how awesome the Moxie is. So the Moxie is one of our entry level machines. It is amazing. Mm -hmm. It stitches at 1800 stitches per minute. Yep. And it has a 15 inch throat space. Mm -hmm. So you can get a lot more quilting done than mm -hmm. you can on your domestic machine. Absolutely. Because not only is it 15 inches deep, but you also have the full length of the frame. Yeah. Speaking of frames. Yes. Um, the Moxie can come on a loft frame set mm -hmm. up to an eight foot, yeah. or you can add a two foot extension. Exactly. And you can also get it on a little foot frame. Mm -hmm. So different options there depending on your space. Exactly. So. Exactly. And the Moxie comes with a really, really awesome accessory kit. So I've actually got that right here. And we like to call this the quilt party in a box. Don't we, Christina? Because yes. this has some extra special things in it beyond what is in our normal accessory kits for our other machine. Let's take a look at what's inside the accessory kit for the Moxie, because we've got some extra special goodies in here. So, so fun. fun. Open this back here. I know, I love it. We call it the quilt party in a box. I say every time we open it, it's like Christmas all over I know, again. It totally is. So we've got some great things that it comes with. First of all, we've got our easy, installation right here. We partnered with an app called Built and it's actually got all the instructions through the app on how to set up the frame and install the Moxie on there. And Pro Stitcher Lite also has the instructions available through the Built app on how to actually do the install, which is really cool because it's 3D, it's interactive, super easy to use. We had fun playing with it, didn't we, Christina? We did. We really did. So we have that. Next, we have um, the th this first card that comes with it tells us all about the Moxie, all the good stuff, everything that you need that comes in the accessory kit. And on the back side, it shows us the different ways to load depending on how we have set up the loft frame. So, so specifically for the loft frame. And then we have the quick reference card. And this has all the good information about uh, your needles, the type of needles and size of needles to use. Um, threading the machine. We've got nice diagrams here that walk you through how to properly thread the machine. It's and very important. It's very important. <laughs> it's uh, if you don't get the machine threaded, you're not going to get a lot of quilting done, are you? Correct. And on the back side of this is the chart that walks you through how to use all the functions on the Moxie with the handlebars. Moxie does not have a touch screen. It just has a cute little display screen. But you use the handlebar buttons to toggle through and change the different uh, functions of the Moxie. And then one of the bonus things that comes with the Moxie, it's the decals, which are awesome, aren't they, Christina? They're so much fun. They're just stickers that you can put on your machine. Mm -hmm. It also has some special stickers here that has um, the backing mm -hmm. and it has an arrow saying which direction you need to put it on and the quilt top as well. So you can decorate your frame, you can decorate mm -hmm. your machine, your wall, your face, whatever you whatever, want. Whatever, wherever you want to put them. And then we have the how to quilt kit and we actually have this open right now. It comes with um, a card in there, which Christina is actually going to grab. So that's, yep, that one right there. That walks you through the basic quilting patterns. That this is how we teach quilting in the quilting studio, our E's and L's, stipples, adding in a little. So it, it gets you started with all of that. It comes with a selection of threads, which is really great. And from Superior Threads, a nice little sampler of thread and some bobbins. And then we also have the little bag that's got all the other good stuff in it. Oops, I just knocked some thread over there. But your needles, the tools that you need, your oiler, all the important things to keep the Moxie maintained. And it comes with a box of pins and fabric. And this is some special grid fabric that we actually developed in the studio. It's got a two inch grid on it so that you can practice. Get yeah, started. I, I know for a lot of beginners, it's really difficult to see this big open space mm -hmm. and know where to start. 
So this two inch grid kind of gives you some boundaries that you can work within. Exactly, so. exactly. So the Moxie is just, it's such a great machine. It's, um, it's just been an awesome addition to the Handy Coulter family. And we have so many happy Moxie owners out there. Um, the Moxie, you can add accessories to it. We can do a ruler base. We can do a quilt from the back kit. It can use all of the handy feet. Yep, exactly. So you can you switch those out for whatever different types of quilting that you're doing. Exactly, exactly. Rulers, the glide foot, all those, all those great things. And it, it's just, you can do all the things that you can do with pretty much with any of our machines with the Moxie. Mm -hmm. And now we have added the ultimate accessory for the Moxie. Pretty cool. Pro Stitcher Light. Pro Stitcher Light. So let's talk about Pro Stitcher Light for a minute. So you guys can see it's set up here on this machine. Um, we now have a tablet on top. And the tablet has the software for Pro Stitcher Light on it. We'll scoot it over here so it's a little bit closer. Christina can help us out a little bit with this. So I'm gonna kind of take this back to the basics. Let's go for it. Pro Stitcher. Mm -hmm. It's our robotic system, a yes. computerized system that you can program designs into it and mm -hmm. have the machine stitch it out for you. Exactly. So if you're concerned about your free motion not being perfect mm -hmm. and you're one of those perfectionists, the Pro Stitcher can do that for you. Absolutely. So Pro Stitcher Lite. And I like to think the Pro Stitcher is an entire system that we add to the machine. So you can see there's a bracket here that holds the tablet. Mm -hmm. the tablet has the software on it, which is the magic that makes it all work. Right? Part of the magic. Yes. There's lots of magic going on <laughs> That's here. That's true. That's so true. Um, it comes with a couple extra cables that you connect, and then you get motors that you install into your existing carriage. And the motors in the carriage actually are what move the machine yep. back and forth to quilt out those designs. So that's th those are the components yep. of Pro Stitcher Lite. But let's talk about the types of things we can do with Pro Stitcher Lite. It's limitless. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't think we have enough time. I know. I don't think we do either. <laughs> we have been having so much fun quilting with this, haven't we? We've done some yes. quilts in the studio, um, done some testing with this. It's um, it's a, I, I would say, a simplified version mm -hmm. of Pro Stitcher, hence the name Pro Stitcher Lite. It is great because it covers all those basic things that we still want to do with Pro Stitcher. Can we do edge to edge with Pro Stitcher Lite? We can. Can we do custom quilting? Yep. Can we uh, buy designs and then bring them in and, and stitch with them? Yep. Absolutely. We can even um, use the mark feature and create our own designs with Pro Stitcher. Light. Yep, straight line designs. Exactly. Yeah, very easy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's we're, we're just so excited to have this introduced and uh, be available to put on, to add to your moxie. So, can I ask you a question real yes. quick? Yes. I know we're going to get asked. This. Absolutely. I know. You'll think um, of the questions. I won't. <laughs> Pro Stitcher Lite. Can I add that to any of the Handy Quilter machines? No. It's okay. it's specific. So the two machines that we can actually use Pro Stitcher Lite on are the Moxie and the Simply 16. However, they have to be on either the loft frame or the little foot frame. Those are the only two frames that Pro Stitcher Lite is available for. So it has to be a combination of yes. those two machines and those two frames. Exactly. So just exactly. clarifying that for everybody. Everybody understands. Yep. Could yeah. you put a regular Pro Stitcher on the Moxie? No. Okay. You can't. So Pro Stitcher Light only for, for the, the Moxie. Moxie. For the Moxie. Yep. And, and you know, the Moxie was designed in mind. It was engineered to have Pro Stitcher Light. Pro Stitcher Light was engineered to work with Moxie. Yep. So it's a fantastic marriage duo, <laughs> duo? Combination. duo combination what other words can we come I up know. with of of the awesome pro stitcher software um the pro stitcher system combined with the moxie we're just we're just tickled pink about this we know that everybody's been waiting patiently because we've been talking about this for a while but we are just so excited to have it launch so uh let's talk for a minute about some of the things that come with the Pro Stitcher. Um, the biggest thing being the designs. Yes. It comes with a designs library that has, I believe it's 400, 400-ish yes. designs. So all of the designs in the Pro Stitcher library. And I love mm -hmm. the Pro Stitcher library because yeah. it is divided into subcategories. Mm -hmm. So you have a, a folder that is continuous line designs. Mm -hmm. It has that folder with block designs, right. corner designs, 
and triangle, triangle designs. So it makes it a lot easier to find what you're looking for for exactly. different areas of your quilt. So. And and it's and we've got it, we've got you covered. There are a lot of really great basic designs in those folders mm -hmm. that are uh, classic quilting designs. Um, and then we also have some fun new ones that uh, we actually created. So if you guys look down at the quilt here, we've actually got one that we quilted out. It's the spying geese um, in the circle which uh, we've stitched out here. That's that's actually a design that was added to the Pro Stitcher library just this year, and it will be included with the Pro Stitcher Lite software. And what is that design called? Um, it's called Flying Geese Circle. Oh, yeah. Very creative. Very creative, I know, <laughs> I know. And then in the background here, which is gonna be a little bit harder to see on film because we're actually stitching it with clear thread, the mono poly, but we have this uh, double swirl. Isn't that what this one is? It's the double swirl? Yes. I think so. It yep. probably, I think it probably It's actually, it. um, if you want to look on the quilt oh, behind right. you, it's the same exact design. Again, this one was done with the clear mono poly thread yeah. from Superior, but it's the double swirl. And I just did that one in a larger size. Yep. So that's something that you can do with Pro Stitcher mm -hmm. is you can change the size of the design. So if you want to have it denser, mm -hmm. more dense, yeah. <laughs> well, you yeah. can make the design smaller. If you want to have it maybe stitch out faster because you're in a hurry, mm -hmm. you can make it as large as um, you can fit in your throat space. Exactly. Um, yeah. So same design up there, just a different look and feel because we changed the, the, size, the of size of it and also the layout a little bit. Exactly. So it's it's just so fun to be able to have all of the options uh, um, available mm -hmm. to be able to do the computerized quilting. Um, what do you think? Should we stitch, stitch? out? Let's, let's do some stitching so everybody okay. can see how great this is. So you've already got this set yep. up. So I've it's got ready it set to just up. run. Yep. We're gonna run down here. So I can hit my run button, check and make sure all my settings are correct. We have our tie-offs turned off. So I'm just gonna hit proceed. Pull up, do your pull-up stitch there. Bring up that bobbin thread so that we don't get uh, thread okay. nest on the back, right? So I'm holding both of my threads. I'm gonna hit the resume button. It's gonna just take off because it doesn't have the tie-off set. And just start stitching okay. for you. And it's just gonna go ahead and start stitching that design for you. I know one of the things I absolutely love about using a pro stitcher is the fact that I can have this running while I'm over at my machine, you know, piecing or putting batting on. It's called multitasking. Yes. Yes, and I think we're all really good at that. We definitely are. It is a fantastic way to maximize your time. I love it. Have the have this running in the background. seen now Pro Stitcher Lite doing an edge to edge. Christina, why don't we show them some of the other great things we can do with Pro Stitcher Lite. First of all, there's one difference between Pro Stitcher Lite and Premium. You always need to set up a frame space before you're able to quilt. So let's walk through the steps of how to do that. Yes. Okay. So when we were stitching earlier, you had already set up this yeah, frame space. I had. But we're going to walk you through how you would set up the frame space. And what the frame space is, is kind of an it's just setting up some space or boundaries that mm -hmm. you're able to stitch within mm -hmm. from you know as far back as it'll go and as far forward and side to side. Exactly. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to the machine and I'm gonna move it to the top left corner and I'm just gonna put it just a little bit off of my quilt, but I could take it all the way over if I wanted to. Right. And I've got it as far back as it will go and I'm just gonna give it just a little bit of wiggle room to leave space for when I advance the quilt. So up here on our tablet, 
I'm going to click on the area tab. Okay. In the ribbon, I'm going to click on frame space. And then I'm going to come over to the right hand sidebar and hit two corner. And you'll notice that Pro Stitch are set up so it's always one, two, three. So the tabs at the top, then the ribbon, then the sidebar. Now I'm going to move the machine. I'm going to try not to run Kim over. And I'm going to bring it to the other side and as far down as I can get it towards my body. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hit two corner. Okay, and I'm going to zoom out so I can see the box I've created. So I've created this box that now represents the area or the boundaries that I'm able to stitch within. Okay, so that is our frame space. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to move over here and Kim. Yes. Resources for Pro Stitcher Lite. Well, guess what? They're at a very familiar place for any of our Pro Stitcher users. They're going to be at ProStitcher.com. We're going to have a tab set up with tutorials, which will be coming soon. We're working hard on those. Um, we've got the tutorials. We've got a how-to video, actually, that's going to be live on the website as, with the product launch. That's just a basic, this is how you use Pro Stitcher Lite. That video is already out there. But we'll, we'll have the same kind of education we always have that, you know, Andy Coulter's known for. Yes, but there's a bonus there. There is a bonus. So Pro Stitcher Lite is going to be available to use in simulation. I've actually got it set up back here. You guys, you guys can't see this. So I'll just show you. I've got my computer right here. And yeah, you can see my screen right there. That's Pro Stitcher Lite in simulation. And I, that way I can set up designs, I can play with things, I can practice using the software, get used to using it, doing all those great things in simulation. It's, a, it's an awesome tool and you can install it on any Windows-based computer. So it's, a, it's a, great, a great tool. Yeah, we always talk about how much easier it is to sit in our recliner mm -hmm. and play in simulation and get familiar with the buttons and yeah. how we're setting things up rather than standing at your machine yeah. and pushing buttons. So that simulation is a great tool that is available, especially for um, beginners that yeah. are wanting to get familiar with the program. Or if you just want to check it out, mm -hmm. the designs don't come with the simulation, no. but you can use your own designs. Uh -huh. And the things that you do in simulation, you can save that mm -hmm. and take it to your Pro Stitcher yep. Lite to stitch it out. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Good stuff. So let's walk him through. Christina Christina and I were talking, we're like, we should definitely show everybody how to use some of the cool features in mm -hmm. Pro Stitcher Lite. So Christina's got a little something set up over here and we're gonna take and put a design in there and have a little bit of fun with it. Okay, we're gonna look at this section right here. So you guys already saw these, um, the flying geese circle. Mm -hmm. And we've got two circles right here. But I don't know, when I looked at it, it looked like eyeballs in a yeah. face. So I'm gonna put a smiley face, just the smile right down in here. I love it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I wanna create an area. So okay. earlier we did a frame space, which was our boundary. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna create an area, which is um, another boundary that helps me determine where to place my design. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to move the machine and I'm going to take it to the top left corner of my half circle that I'm going to create. In the area tab, I'm going to click on multi-point. It gives a little ding and has a drop down said added point. I'm going to move straight across to the top right of my half circle and I'm going to hit multi-point again. And then I'm just going to come around and do a whole bunch of multi points along the bottom, creating the bottom half of this circle. And this is inside of the stitching that's already been done. So this is where I want my smiley face or my smile to be within. Perfect. Looks great. Okay. So just so people know on the screen, you're seeing it in simulation with green crosshairs. Yep. If you're doing this on the regular machine, it has orange crosshairs, meaning that your gears are engaged. Exactly. Okay, so we've got our half circle. 
I want to bring in a design. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the file tab, mm -hmm. then design in the ribbon, mm -hmm. and open. And this is where all of our designs live. So we've got our pro stitcher designs. And like we said earlier, they're broken down into blocks, continuous lines, corners, and triangles. So the design that I have in my mind is actually in the continuous lines folder. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to scroll down until I find clamshell. Okay. I'm, I tend to be more of an optimistic person, uh -huh. so I don't really want to have a frowny face. Right. I want to change this upside down, turn that frown around. That's right. So I want to modify that. So I'm going to use the modify tab. Okay. And then I want to go to reposition. Mm -hmm. On our sidebar, we have all of these different options that are available. Yeah. And I'm actually going to just nudge it over a little bit towards the center. Okay. And maybe nudge it up towards the top just to get it in that space mm -hmm. that I created. Yeah. And then I want to rotate it. Okay. So I'm going back up to, again, modify tab, which is already selected, and then the rotate button. Mm -hmm. And I have options here. I could rotate it 45 degrees a couple of times. Right. Or I can just hit the flip button ah. and it flips it right over. <gasps> flip that frown upside down. It did. And I'm going to go back to reposition and lower it back down because mine, when I flipped it, it went further than what I wanted. So I could go ahead and stitch this out, or if I wanted to make it a wider smile, mm -hmm. I could go to my resize oh, button. Okay, let's do that. And that's in our ribbon under mm -hmm. modify. Resize. I'm going to turn the lock button off. Okay. So the lock button keeps things so that when I change them, the aspect stays the same. Mm -hmm. So the width and the height change at the same time. I only want to make this wider. So I turned off my lock button. I have width selected. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom of the right hand sidebar and just hit the plus button until I am happy with my smiley face. Okay. Oh, I like that. That actually, I feel like that looks more like a real smile. Very yes. nice. So at this point, if I'm happy, I can baseline it. Okay. You can save these designs that you've mm -hmm. changed um, if you want to bring them back in later. If you're doing an edge to edge, we always recommend that you save it. Mm -hmm. um, but now I want to stitch. So I'm going to stitch it out by hitting the Pro Stitcher button at the top. Mm -hmm. I've got the quilt button selected in the ribbon and then hit my run button. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn my tie offs on. Okay. Your start end. My start end. And I'm going to hit proceed. The okay. machine knows where it needs to go. It's yes, going it to take does. a stitch and let me pull up my bobbin thread. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to hit resume and we're going to watch the machine stitch out. Oh, look at that. It's taking its tie offs. I love how easy it is to just sit there and watch it stitch out that perfect stitch line. Yep. That perfect design. Add that little smile. Do a couple of tie offs at the end. Okay, so I did all that stitching. I'm going to move it over. And again, we did this in a Clear thread, so you might be able to see our little smiley face there. I'm going to clip these threads so we can get that out of your way. And that is an example of how you can do some custom quilting with the Pro Stitcher Lite. Yeah, which is awesome. It's, it's such a great system. Uh, it's such a great, the ultimate accessory for your Moxie. Mm -hmm. It's going to help you finish quilts faster. And we're just, we're so excited about it. Um, if you'd like to learn more about Pro Stitcher Lite and Moxie, you can visit handyquilter.com 
or reach out to your local retailer and, and give them some questions. Find out what yeah. they've got. And yeah, we're just, we're so excited to have Pro Stitcher Light out there for everybody to see. So Pro Stitcher Light, welcome to the family. Yes, welcome <laughs> to the Handy Quilter family. Well, thanks for watching today. We really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and give us a like and be sure to have fun quilting this week.